singing up here. I'm all out of love, lost in love, the one that you love. It's just a few of the countless hits Air Supply has strung together throughout the years. We welcome this morning Graham Russell and Russell Hitchcock, otherwise known as Air Supply. Good morning to the two of you. Good morning, Doug. How you doing? Doing well. You know, I want to get to your Hollywood Bowl show, but first I just have to ask you for a second about Jimmy Buffett, and perhaps it's my ignorance thinking all rock stars know each other, but in your years performing, did you ever have any run-ins or have any stories you'd like to share? No, we didn't actually. Uh, as you said, uh, rock and roll is a funny thing. You can uh, see people all the time on television or whatever, but we're always ships crossing in the night, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Very rarely do you get in the same city as another person or get a chance or the time to see them. But uh, very, very sad to hear. I was just about, we played last night in Las Vegas. Just before I went to bed, I checked Facebook and learned that he'd passed. And uh, very, very sad. Yeah. Um, a great guy and obviously an incredible career. And, uh, you know, it's very sad to see one of uh, a musician. I mean, everybody's has tragedy in their lives, but it's a very small community, obviously. And it was a uh, very sad for us to hear. Well, thank, thank you for sharing your thoughts on that. Uh, I, I do want to get to your Hollywood Bowl show. September 3rd, tomorrow, I mean, you guys are taking the stage with Michael Bolton for, I guess, what we can call one heck of a romantic evening. Talk about, yes. uh, talk about what this means to you guys playing the, the Hollywood Bowl. Well, we've, uh, we did a show with Michael last year in, San, in Chile, in Santiago, and it was a great success. And, you know, we were looking forward to finding another another space, another venue where we could play with him. But uh, he's a wonderful person and uh, he's, he has a great show. And I think our two shows are quite different, but very romantic nevertheless. And we really complement each other, I think. I know you guys, both of you, I mean, this was kind of like the basis of your relationship from day one in 1975. You're massive Beatles fans. So yeah. to be able yeah. to take the stage that the Beatles took in 1964, I mean, what does that mean to you? Well, that's that's all I've been telling everybody that I know that we're going to be step foot on the same stage as the Beatles did. Mm -hmm. um, Graham and I were both lucky enough to see them uh, in 1964 when we were three years old uh, <laughs> in, Melbourne, in, in, in Australia and in England, respectively. So, um, you know, they've always been our number one uh, band, big fans uh, since the first time I heard one of their records. In fact, one of my high school mates uh, came in and said, "You got to listen to this." 45 for those who remember um and it was i want to hold your hand and i was as soon as i heard that i was hooked uh, it's going to be a thrill for us um obviously it's a very iconic venue uh, everybody's played there so we're uh, we're thrilled to have that uh, as part of our resume at this point in our career mm -hmm. so you guys are widely considered one of the greatest rock duos of all time you've been together for 48 years i mean there are marriages that do not last this long so what is the key <laughs> hey. to this success well, I, you know, people ask us that question. Now, we really don't know because it's not something we work at. But uh, I think we have a great respect for each other. And also in within the band, we have different roles. You know, I'm the songwriter, Russell's the lead singer, and that's never in dispute. And we both, we're both very happy with our different roles. And there's no competition, you know. So what do fans witness when they see Air Supply live at the Hollywood Bowl tomorrow night? Well, um, I always hate to say obviously, but obviously we'll be playing um, all the hits, Sweet Dreams, Here I Am, the one that you love, uh, Even Nights Are Better, uh, All Out of Love, of course, which has kind of become our anthem. Um, but I think for people that haven't seen us before, uh, they're surprised because it's a rock and roll show. It's very loud, very dynamic. We have amazing players with us. We, we've got some young guys that make us look better. And, <laughs> and um, it's, it's full on. I mean, I, I can't. Uh, we're very proud of the show. It's it's evolved over the years to be where it is now, and it's uh, non-stop. Of course, we we uh, we we we're on for a shorter time than normally uh, in our concerts, so it's all full on from uh, start to to leaving the stage. It's going to be awesome. Graham and Russell, appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Don't forget, Air Supply Hollywood Bowl tomorrow night. Aside from a few uh, uh, tickets in the upper sections, there aren't many tickets available. So check out airsupplymusic.com for more information and tickets. I love hearing that I have something in common. I Want to Hold Your Hand was like the first Beatles song I heard that made me like a super fan of the group. Mm -hmm. It's great to hear that like Air Supply, like a great band I feel inspired like the, by the same music. There's a lot of friendships that are based on a love for the Beatles. I think that's kind of how you and yeah, I. Yeah, you and I started talking. Yeah, yeah absolutely.